Join Connecting the Dots this and every Saturday at 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. on National Broadcaster DBS Radio. 88.1 FM, 89.5, 89.1, 103.1, 103.5, 104.1 and 104.7 FM. Listen and view on DBS Radio Facebook Live and on YouTube. Give us 90 minutes and we will strengthen the connection between Dominicans residing in the lovely Nature Isle and Dominicans residing abroad. National Broadcaster DBS continues its quest to highlight and celebrate the achievements of Dominicans. We will discuss the highs and lows, the challenges and successes. Give us 90 minutes and we will solidify the connections we share with Dominicans all over. Anu celebre achievement Dominice to all Connecting the dots. Tune in this Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Come join us as we weave a tapestry and strengthen our connections. Asu Radio DBS. Ready. Moon in. We have any tooth moon. I salute. Big up. Wago. What's the sin? Hello. Bonjour, good day. Give us 90 minutes, I say. Here's your we welcome you to another edition of Connecting the Dots. The program that connects Dominicans residing here in the Commonwealth, those residing abroad. Atiani Teva Ma, your dinunio specificity. That's what Gordon Anderson said, right? Papa Creole. Tutmun Bizwe Connects, Bizwe Sav Kimunyo Ye. Let me call Nigel Francis to help me. Neighbor, come a while. Shift the curtain. Let me rest some wap up on your windowsill. <laughs> hey, what I said there, the serious. I thing. shall take that. <laughs> hey, hey. What's a windowsill, Nigel, in, in, in Dominica's cultural nuance? Good morning, by the way. What's a windowsill? Window How do we say it in Creole? Um, to, um, to this yeah, Creole. Boy. Window sill. Why did I start with this? Now? You started, I don't know why it's, you just started um, that thing. Window sill. I don't I have know. You know, no they like the little ledge or something by the window we still have. I mean, <laughs> people still have it. But I mean, in our days, it was just unique. It was different. Um, so most times it would be made of wood. Something like it's etage. I don't know. You don't know, Nigel? But I listening to you, I listening oh, to you. I trying to get the Creole. Let me leave that alone. Eh? Somebody will send us the, 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 the answer. <laughs> I wonder if Katy does. Katy, you know what is window sill now? What is that to do with Funet? <laughs> Funet, but I know. Something Funet. Funet is window. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, like etage or so. I, I can't remember anyway. Something like that. Something They'll like tell that. us. They'll tell us. They'll tell us in a while. So, how are you, Nigel Francis? I am good. I am good. I am good. I am good. Alvin wants to tell me very early you have a lot of moves today. So, I just want to let you know that. So, yes, Alvin. I have a lot of moves. <laughs> Yes, I don't uh, know what that means. What you oh, say, you have a lot of moves today. He early this morning. Yeah. Uh, okay. Come from vacation. That's what happened when you yes. guys go on vacation. They come yes. back refreshed and ready to go. You yes, know? yeah, man. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, he yes, needs yes, it. He yes. needs it. So that's good. He needs it. He needs mm -hmm. it. So good morning to him. And that's to the same him. Alvin Thomas from SMA, right? Well, we will be saying that throughout the program this morning. You okay. Guys, you have somebody from SMA, so I wouldn't, you know, I don't want to say SMA too much yet. Okay, Papa. But the day is good, my dear. Uh, how was your week? Um, yeah, good week. Interesting week, as as normal. Interesting week. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you learn things, and you know, you just try to put things in motion and understand yes, what things are saying to you. So that's it's one of those <laughs> weeks, you know. 
<laughs> you know, sometimes you get a sign, you know, through different things, and then you say, okay, maybe that's why I have to navigate myself now. And anyway, but it was, it was an interesting. <laughs> and then before you need another one, come again. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> rain, Nigel, on the outside since yesterday. I tell you, I welcome this. I, I wish we'll get some more rain, especially throughout the weekend. I mean, not not a lot of rain to cause any damage or anything like that. To cause any damage, yes. But we need Just enough to cool down the mm -hmm. temperature and make it nice, nice little vibes and yes. Yes. So yes. that feeling, I yeah. know that feeling. It's good to have that. It's good to have that. It you is. Know? It is. Um, yes. Yeah. So it's good. To have that little bit of you know, just enough. Just enough. That's it. You know, it's yes. nice, especially early morning or at nights when the rain is falling. And then you wake up and the rain is still falling and then you just feel good, rejuvenated. And you don't even want to get up from the bed. Man. I I know that feeling. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then you have to get up because but you, you have, have to, to come Yes, yes. Yeah, I know it is. Unless I stay in my bed and do I must try that man, just stay in my bed and just do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, those days. Huh? But interesting okay. discussion, Kush, Nigel. Okay. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Come away. <laughs> with the last C and everything that goes with it. You know, sleeping and getting up a little bit. <laughs> yes, yes. Six, six. That's me. That's me in the real, you know. That's a food. Of course, no man. Yes. This is me. Let me see who's going to tune in after that. <laughs> yeah. Boy, like, boy, let me tell you something. That'll go viral. Nigel, look, me, pui. Me, pui. Noise they making. You know that song, me, pui. Noise they making. You know that song, right? If I go, me, pui, no. Boy. Let me leave that alone. <clears throat> Nigel, let me let me leave that alone. I'm not laughing here again today. But interesting yes, discussion yes. last week with Loic Charles, Nigel. And, and as I told oh. you already, the after after the program on air, there's another program of air. Oh, yeah. So I always yes. enjoy myself when you're not there. I take my food. So we have a rendezvous <laughs> most times. I have a rendezvous with the guests. So either we go somewhere or, you know, it's just a nice vibes. And um, yeah. I had fun with Loic. Yeah. Case closed. All right. I'll leave it alone. Yeah. Nigel, what are we focusing on on the Dominica quarter? You want me to go ahead? Oh, um, what you can focus on today? Let's see. Um, I, I like I like the fact that we can name communities that begin with a certain letter because it gives us, you know. Well, we can do that. We I, can do that. So maybe we, we can, can go with letter H H H. Wow, H. No, no, well, no, 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 no community starting with H. Let's try. We, we can learn something. Somebody can tell yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. No, seriously. Why did I go with H? Uh, it could be a Hamlet. It could be just maybe... Um, wow. Aye, aye, aye. You want to go, go first? Of all the letters in the alphabet, you have to choose H. Go first. Who's <laughs> Salamada, you know? Uh -uh, go first. What? H. H. A community H. in Dominica H. starting with It could H. be a Hamlet. It could be... Um, oh, Hamlet. He was he, bro. Well, I was just about to say he was bro. Uh -oh. I oh, said it before you. According to those children, I said it before you. Okay, he was bro. Um, itch. Good for you. Itch. Itch. Hmm. You want me to give you another one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Itch. Your turn. Wow. Um, itch. Um, it's, um, um, yes, sir. All you help us then, uh, itch. Um, oh, look, somebody give me one. Mm. Ugly. Uh, okay, that's in Grand Bay, right? So yeah, that's, 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 Grand Bay. Okay. Yes, sir, boy. After that, um, I um, boy, why, why you have to choose H? Huh? Um, why H? Heard for the state is all hard for the state or something like that. <laughs> Wee, boy. Oh, okay. Yes, Winnie Green tell you Hatton Garden. Okay, Hatton Garden. Um, boy, what again? Okay, Harlem, Harlem. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the letters you have to choose. Wait, it. boy. H. Um, well, what's H? H. Um, you, you said Hillsborough Street already. Hills, H. 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 Yeah. Hotel. Hotel. Hey, I want you know, my hotel is a place, not a community. Hotel is hot hot like a Mon garden. A hotel. Hotel Monjon is a place. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you like to choose H, you know. Um, boy, I finished it at three. How many points I got, Nigel? Let me see. Let me see if they help you. Let me see if somebody wants to help you. On Nigel, way. how many points I got? Oh, you only had 0. 0.5. Half points. <laughs> oh, Ocean of Thoughts. Thank you very much. Hampstead. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Hampstead. Yes, she, she, she helped you out there. She helped you out. As, she said, she, as, she as you said, Hampstead, I think of Hambrin is on. You can remember Hambrin? What's Hambrin again? <laughs> on Valley Road? <laughs> that, that, that... <laughs> but look, I'm glad he's shaking his head to Hambrin. I'm bringing. 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 I'
No. New Hambrin. It's close to the on Valley Road. Convent. Is convent that? at the back of convent. convent there, yeah, 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 of course. Playground. Yeah, New Hambrin, yeah. So I got 40 points. Just like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hambrin. Yep. Mm. <laughs> okay, my bad. You say Hambrin. that. Well, why? You say that. I mean, why? I believe that's a little Yes, and choose a better thing. Choose a better, a better letter next time. But we have, we have, we have, we have double for lot. Eh? We had C, we had B, we had A, we had E. Yes, yes, yes. But H, H. I mean, it's just kind of strange. Do they not many communities or hamlets in no, because it's starting letter H? H, yeah, yeah. Hagley, Hagley, yeah. They probably in have. Me, you know, he said we probably just you know. I mean, um. Okay. Here's two shillings to tell you, Hambrin was a restaurant, not no place. <laughs> New Hambrin, wait, what's up? You, you are, you are, was a restaurant, you are, yeah, yeah. You saying what all you want. Um, <laughs> I remember um, you Hambrin. Okay, well, you have Hagley in Granby. <sighs> My show, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot, and and in, in I'm hot meaning I'm hot. I'm tired, and I'm hot meaning I'm ashamed as well. Eh? Mm. Is it true when you put on the face? Is it well, true when you put on the book? You know, nah, it's just look, somebody say, look, mm. look, somebody say if you want the itch, <laughs> housing scheme can call it. And then two thousand scheme, we got the housing scheme, housing scheme, we take the housing scheme. Okay, that's all you hope. Okay, find um more communities if that you know the name beginning with letter H, and yeah. Okay, so that's your homework. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. that's that's your homework for next. Find other tired. communities in H and let us know. Yes, yes. Nigel. <laughs> right, throughout the program today, you can let us know. So, H, yeah. Because that's a difficult one. All right, that's a difficult one. Nigel, what, yeah. what is the book saying? Let's see what our the book people is, are the saying. Book is, the book is going. Let's see. Um, um, he says, Smokey, Smokey, good morning to you. Almost every village have a hope, have a high. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> good morning, good morning, Karen Anthony. Good morning to you, Roslyn Severa McLean. Good morning, of course, Alvin was on very early. Snap, although I want to tell you, Kisa Ham, Ham, Ham bring is a house, a whole restaurant. Ham <laughs> <laughs> bring my corn when going up there. <laughs> well, that's what your restaurant was. Coffee, <laughs> 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 James. Good morning to you. Great track from your daughter. Um, I think mm. it's called Dirty Joke. Yes. So go mm-hmm. out there and purchase it or download it. When Carl Kofi James is ready, he'll tell us when we can have his daughter on because yes, he let us know. Yes, he let, let us know. I'm not asking him again. Eh? No, no, Mm-mm. back Mm-mm. Here. Mm-mm. Kofi, we're not asking you again. Just Mm-mm. tell us when we can have her, and then we'll make it happen. Yes. yes. Marlin J, good morning to you, and of course Snapper Laura, Alvin Thomas, Winnie Green, Talifia Charles, um, Derek Liverpool up there in Tampa. Good morning. You know, a special good morning to you in California. I know it's very early, but of course you're on. Yeah. And um, London, good morning to you. Edwina London, good morning. I want Nigel, welcome. Happy weekend. Locked in from Houston. Um, Bernadette Scotland, good morning to you. Sandra Norris, of course, always there. Good morning to you. Listening in New York. Liz, my dear sis, good morning to you. Shil Joes, good morning to Ivone's guests and CTV family. So the book going, the book is going nice. Uh, nice, nice, nice. And yes, Nigel yes, and through yes. the through the book and you know through the program, you know, you know, we we build greater links and closer links with people. So as you mentioned, yeah, yeah, so people like yeah, Shills Joe wonder. for me and you know and Winnie Green and Glenda Shilling Ford and the list goes on and on and on and on. On and on and on. Too numerous to mention. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. We, we shall have to have a CTD party sometime. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe an oldies party too. Can have an oldies theme. And yes, yes, yes. I don't yes, know. I just. Have a, I just have that kind of a feeling, you know, to put some heels, you know, and you know, short, short, yes, shiny yes. skirt and a big afro. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see. We'll back see in the seventies, man. Yeah, man. Of course, no man. Let's go back. <laughs> we'll see how that go. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, Nigel, yeah. we got to bring on our guests. What we going to? We going to pray. Um, you have the you, you have the pray. Yeah. But Nigel, you still on that? Come oh, on, no, Nigel. You still rubbing that in my face, there we. Yes, sir. Well, it's my fellas, you know, these little boy. Where you at, girl? You go ham bring. <laughs> <laughs> but ham bring, like, yeah, if I have to uh, get the ham bring was a restaurant initially, but then I think I it became a, like a mini morning. dance hall, and then it, I guess, was like a community. <laughs> yes, it was a landmark, man. <laughs> right. I stick on that. All you should right. try to defend that. I stick on that <laughs> bring this morning. <laughs> 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 Eh, eh. All right. Yes. Uh, yes. We're gonna so we're gonna pray. You. Are you gonna pray? Oh, you got the prayer? Oh, let's we, go to the prayer. Pray. 
Oh, you, uh, you have the prayer? You have it? You have it close? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can find it. You have it close? Okay. okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I always say I'm going to see. Let me see. As you, as you get it, let me just say hello to you know? Vado because, of course, we have to big up Vado. <laughs> she let me know early that she, you know, she be locked on <laughs> since yesterday. Yes. So. so as we ask for divine intervention, Heavenly Father, creator of mankind and the universe, we thank thee for the gift of life today and all the blessings you continue to bestow on your children. We seek your presence and intervention throughout this program. And we ask that you keep us connected always. We also pray for the success of the program, its coordinators and listeners, that they may find purpose and enjoy what we share. Bless our radio station, the nation, and may we grow to love and unite with each other, irrespective of our differences. All this we ask in your name now and forever. Amen. 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 I see. Yes. Amen. So always give thanks. Yes. Amen. Praise Praise to to do that. Of course. So Nigel, um yeah, we should have a very interesting program. I wish I could just play the music at times, you know, because um seriously, but you know with copyright, you know, PR and the PRS and all of that, you have to be careful what you play, especially on Facebook, because you know you can be blocked somewhat, you know. So yes. life cannot yes. uh, yeah, so that happens and it has happened already with us. So, you know, mm. in terms of the music we can leave this alone, you know, for a while. I really wanted to play that country and western track from First Serenade. Yeah. You know, you know the country and western track from First Serenade. Which one is that? Well, you uh, see, I'm a Serenade uh, fan, eh? From from but of course way back Serenade when. Me too. But I try way to back the when. Western one. Imagine Serenade. Even I, Nigel talking about that one year. I did jumping up in band because me and Serenade always like my jump up. I hear that song on iPhone, are we? Serenade. <laughs> you ever heard that song? Bring back iPhone on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that song. <laughs> Booyah DJs. Eh, eh, nah, no, I check him out. What is, what is that for me? Yeah, but I still, under, I still at DBS. I hear that song, Bring Back Ivan on the Radio. Bring Back Ivan on the DBS. <laughs> yes, uh, boy. Anyway, we'll talk about that as we go along. But yeah, uh, Serenade, yeah, it's really, yeah. it's certainly a pleasure, Nigel, to to welcome Carlton Winston, affectionately known as Carlty of, of, of First Serenade Band. Uh, wow. I mean, he will tell us a lot, you know. He'll yes, tell us about yeah. Bifla La J and mm. Pagume Punom, you know, and those songs there. Yeah. But he'll yeah. tell us much for more because he really comes from a vibrant community, Point Michel. And you know, Point Michel is always alive, you know, always, 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 always alive. alive. Always alive. Mm -hmm. always I remember alive. as well, because I used to work in Point Michel. I worked there for four years at another radio station. It was Voice of the Islands radio station. VOI. And VOI, yes. So I used to go by at Carlton's mother, mother's house for um it's tartlets and Coconut all the things yeah my goodness nigel was the best i mean prisca that was the name yeah prisca yeah nigel you ever <laughs> tasted that no so so Kat, you never took on that then too at least none of you took this on to well yeah my sister makes it still ah so yeah. Kat, you could just bring a little one for me <laughs> bring one for you today <laughs> wait, yeah, wait well, okay, yes, tarts, yeah yeah, yes. but, but people just I mean, come and buy that to send all the way to Germany, you know. Nigel, let me tell you, so I can just remember the taste. You know, sometimes you can just remember things, even mm -hmm. the taste of. Yes, yes, yes. Nigel, yes, especially yes. when that was hot. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that was just the best thing. So since after all break. these years, it's still etched in your mind. But of course, of course, and uh, so I worked at Voice of the Islands. I was still a teenager, a little girl then, you know, 1989 to 1993. So that was way back when. And I would always, I'm, so Nigel, I could have waited for the bus on down the hill, close to the cemetery. But I had to get mm -hmm. my tarts and my other delicacies. So I, I would walk down to Prisca's place and get that. And Ginger cake, man, rough cake, anyways. and the coconut Look tarts. Look my mouth water in there. Well, let's leave that alone, time. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes, and of course, uh, just to let you know, they said, we're not seeing Kalti. So what? Kalti oh, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. They're not seeing you yet. Eh, hey, hey, my bad. And, and snap, well, Laura, tell okay. you, Kalti. You yes, know Kalti. <laughs> you know, she know why she know Wee she know boy. why you talking about Hambrin. She but, said you used to check a girl in you used to check a girl in maybe you used to check a girl in Hambrin. No, um Archie who passed away, his um child's mother, she passed away also from that was Merlin. Oh. oh yes, yes. Yes, yeah, oh, yes. so Merlin you I think Merlin, yeah, they used to live at Hambrin. Yes, that yes. used to be And I was living yeah. close to close Hambrin as well, you know. Yeah. I was living close there in Nigel because remember after I came out from from the yard from La Couchel in Forty Queen Mary Street, I went to the okay. the Boy Boyd's Avenue, close to the police station. So that was right by Hambrin. Uh -huh. So that was a community for me. So I don't know what you're saying. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so give I'm me my points, then. 
<laughs> c'est pas moi qui dis ça, c'est c'est mon la business qui dit ça. Je parle de best class, je crois qu'il y a Marines restaurant. Yes, yeah, a restaurant, yeah, 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 that's where it is. There's a little community going on. Yeah, 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 Of course, the man. <laughs> yes, my my no snapper, boy snapper no too much you know what me. I'm telling you, we go way back you know snapper. Those days there. You know she tell me she remember the song too like that they they made on you. Boy, we go way back snapper group of us you know the guys from Buffy State the Wall Gang you know. Newton Community yeah. Center with Wadi Kole and anyway that's another story. <laughs> yes, hey, hey, so yeah, it's time now corner. to yeah uh, for sure. Yes, it's time to welcome. So back yes, to the, the, yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, the versatility, versatility, Nigel, and um, I would say originality of the band's music has really satisfied many, many, many Dominicans. You know, right here and elsewhere. Um, so we can speak of a variety of of um, types of music, including zouk, of course, bouillon, and help me, I can't if I'm missing some, cadence, mm -hmm. um, calypso, yeah. calypso, mm -hmm. calypso um, um, salsa, salsa, country yeah. and western. What again, Kalti, I, I missed. Absukus too. Suk oh yes, yeah, sukus, sukus, and 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 much more. Numerous, numerous. Even reggae. Yes, well, even reggae, and you know me and reggae already. Yes, Nigel. So it's really a pleasure to bring on Carl T officially. So, Nigel, it do is, something. Is, Nigel, at least you could have brought a trumpet or something to welcome me, Carl T. To bring a trumpet to the of all this, and you have a master trumpet. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but Nigel, you could do that, man. <laughs> I do. Blow, no, Nigel. You can't blow. Can blow trumpet to Dave and Carl T. There's smoke here to tell me Carl T used to blow a kind of trumpet or was it? There's smoke. Nobody yeah. can blow that. Wow. Yes. But well, good morning to you, Carlton, and it's a pleasure to have you. We'll start with Carlton and then we'll get to Carlton later on. But it's a pleasure to have you in Connecting the Dots. We appreciate you coming through and connecting with us and giving us the journey. And of course, you know, your own journey mm -hmm. as well as the journey of Serenade Man and what Serenade has been able to achieve. So yeah. um, it's a pleasure to connect with you, my brother. Of course, SMA is going to be represented as always. Oh, yes. So, yes, yes. Albert Greenaway, mm. thanks for reminding us. SMA is there today. Mm. He tell me to tell her if one today is our day. So, whatever. Just to, so I let her know that. Whatever. You know? Um, but, Kelsey, let's take it from the beginning, though. Um, we already know you from the Point Michel community, mm. um, Lafayette like Alvin says. Um, but tell us a little bit about, in terms of back then, what was it like um, in Point Michel? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a pleasure to be here on Connecting the Dots on this um, rainy Saturday. Mm -hmm. I like it because the plants outside there is cool, yeah. nah, real nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as I said, uh, your listeners out there listening far and wide, Dominica across, you know, welcome to Connecting the Dots. Yeah, Point Michel back in the day was always a place that had a lot of music. A lot of musicians like um, my, my uncle, William Toussaint, who passed away, Hugh Toussaint. These guys were Horisho Toussaint, again, cousins. These guys were always involved in music. So Point Michel was always a community that had a lot of music. Carnival as a little boy, you could see guys playing steel band, guys like Tall Boy. All these people, these guys passed away. They were gone to the great beyond. And Point Michel was always a place that always was vibrant with music. You always had people like Ophelia. So there was always the music in the community. So you could always see it around you. So we grew mm -hmm. up in that background. Um, I remember my grandfather, um, William Toussaint. He was the organist in the church in Point Michel. So every Sunday, he played the organ in ch for, the, for the choir in church. Well, I do that myself. I play trumpet in church most Sundays that I can. And it, that gives a feeling to, uh, to the mass. Uh, you know, the acoustics of a church sounds real good. So Point yes. Michel has always been a community with a lot of music in its background and around it. So back in the day, the music was always there. It was always, always touching you. Mm -hmm. So, so when you were like in, if we can go back to say like preschool time and so on, um, did you? What was it like for you in preschool? Put it that way first. Well, in preschool, you know, like you know, I always tell people, music is an integral part of our lives. You are born from the time you are born, you have no three rhymes. When you die, they put you to the grave. You have graveside hymns. So, music is all every step of the way. Music is every step of the way. Music is there with us. So back in the time as a child, music was always there, even in school, in church. Mm -hmm. The music was always there. Mm -hmm. Music was always there. Yeah, man, music man, was always there. I will explore that further, of course. Mm -hmm. But Nigel, let, let, let's just find a little about Carl and his preschool days, if you can remember yes, preschool yes, days. And then, if you remember any of the nursery rhymes in, 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 right, in preschool. Right. Yeah, music is there. Any, any nursery rhyme you remember? 
<laughs> what I can remember in this rhymes, I can't remember that. That was so like so young. Old MacDonald had a farm. There's a song. Old MacDonald, yeah, Baba Black Jack Sheep, Spratt you know, could yeah. Eat no fat, mm-hmm. His wife could eat no lean. Yeah. Okay, so you remember those days. You ever and, put and, any of this and, in, in in song? I'm trying to remember any of your songs. You ever like took some of the nursery rhymes from school? And place it in a song. Any of your song you can remember that would be would have something from. Well, not necessarily. I think Archie be more than Archie be more man for that. Okay. All Old right. McDonald, you know, Archie was an animal farm. Yes. A guy used to say, "Me, but mm-hmm. you are making songs on every animal, man. You all have donkey tricks. Oh yes, yes. You all have yes. Beflala, G. Beflala, yeah. You all have Shia like a happy chicken redeem. Mm-hmm. So Archie was the animal master. Precise. Always making the song yes. on the animals. Mm. I like definitely that. so, I like definitely that. so. And you went to preschool in in in, in Point Michel as well. Yeah, right? man, actually, was a Point Michel man. Yeah, yeah. And you as well. You, you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of us. Yeah. Yes. Most okay. of the guys, yeah. Don't know we have what an influx of new guys that have been right, right. from all over Dominica, all over the well, island. We want to talk about obviously about the original serenade. I mean, mm-hmm, we move on mm-hmm. to what you have right now, but yeah, we yeah, want yeah. to focus a lot on you know how the band came about, how it was formed, how it there. Got, got the name and all of that. But we have not reached that that segment as yet. Okay. So Nigel, yes. Yeah, no, I was just going to ask him. I mean, in and then preschool, you went into primary school. Primary school was also in, at the Point Michel Primary School. Was that what it was called? Or yes, Saint Luke's. Yeah, Saint Luke's. Saint Luke's. Saint Luke's. Saint and Luke's then, primary. and then we were tripping you when I was about nine, ten. My mom sent me to Barbados to celebrate my aunt. Mm. Yeah, my aunt was a hawkster over there selling. Um, she had her business over there, Clara Peters, who has mm. since passed. Mm. That was my mom's and um, bigger sister. So I spent a few years in Barbados. Again, again, the music was there because you had guys like Julian Peters, who was originally from Dominica but grew up most of his life in Barbados. So my aunt moved over to Barbados with her family. So they were involved in music, doing cruise ships, and you know, I saw a lot of music in Barbados. Mm. So then from Barbados, now I came back to Dominica and then I entered SME. That's why I met guys like Nigel and Smokey and Arnold Toulon definitely, and Wadix. SME. Yeah, the SME boys. Um, but we're we going to talk about SME in a little while, too. <laughs> Chero Jacob. School, were you, if, if you remember in primary school, were you like involved in sporting activities or did, or, 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 or did they have like concerts and stuff like that when you were at St. Luke's Primary? Well, I was not really involved in, to be honest with you, I was not really involved in sporting activities. You know, I was more involved in, mm-hmm. again, the music. And then even when I started to, 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 I did a stint working at, uh, quite a few years working at St. Luke's Primary, I ended up going back there and I did um, music basic with the students and I also did agricultural science. And that's one of the things that made the kids very happy that they could plant something, they could see it grow, they could harvest stuff. So a lot of the kids were very much, you know, happy about planting things. We had a greenhouse of 30 by 60 and many of the kids were involved in planting stuff at the school. That's when you went back there to teach. Yes. Um, do you recall any of when you were in primary school at St. Luke's Primary? Do you recall any of the teachers or any of the other students that you went to school with there? Well, I, I can recall um, teacher Philip, uh, who I can recall again, um, teacher Joyce Lynn, who has moved to the States. Some of these people have moved out of Dominica. Yeah, mm-hmm. these were two of the teachers I could remember. Yeah, back in the day, teacher um, Vilna Roy, teacher Rosie, her sister. Yeah, these were teachers way back when. Okay, okay, but do you were there any like how now probably like in the schools there like concerts and stuff like that? When you were in primary school, Saint Luke's Primary, you remember if there were any little concerts or any little plays or any little music thing that was going on that you were part of? Well, no, I didn't take part in concerts, but I went to concerts that was um hosted by a group in Point Michel called Ngoma Dancers. You had guys like Herman Charles. Yeah, you know, these guys were involved in in in, in doing stuff in Point Michel like concerts and so. That's why Point Michel always had, you know, shows. Back in the day, you always had these, these concerts, you know, Adeline, Dubois, these people were always involved in those kind of things. For those who don't know Point Michel very well, probably only all they know is that nice long strip. Where in the community is St. Luke's Prime relocated? The community is located close to the, the school, sorry, is located close to the yeah. church. Yeah, close to the church. Close to the Catholic church. Yeah, it's a Catholic church. It's a Catholic um, run school. Okay, okay. So, um, um, so from primary school, and um, um, oh, I wanted to say they're not seeing you and me again, but from primary school, um, of course, we went into the SMA, mm-hmm. um, which is why I wanna just came for SMA, she come for that section, you know. <laughs> yes, so tell us a little bit no about comments. SMA, what was the experience like in SMA? 
SMA was nice, man. I, I mean, I can remember guys from all over Dominica being there. And, and that was a generation of Wadix and myself. Wadix would always tell me, but that was one of the best generations, you know, that left. Um, you had guys like Arnold Tuno, that painter. He, he's a very good painter. Guys like Smokey. I remember Smokey mm-hmm. very vividly. I remember you, Nigel, too. Of course. I remember Wadix. I remember General Jacob, the poet. Agal- Algonon Ducre. So we had a lot of good guys, you know, that, you know, good minds, you know, guys that really contributed significantly to Dominic, and you can still see them around, you know. Mm-hmm. You had guys like Leroy John Lewis, you had guys like Eric Badwill, all those guys, Archie, all those guys passed through SMA. Yes, SMA, yes, had a, yes. SMA had a lot of talented guys, I must say. I mean, I'm not taking, giving grammar school blows, you know. Me, Papa, I know <laughs> Don't get involved Mind in that. Me. But SMA mm-hmm. had some real, you know, you can call these guys titans, man. But yeah, I know, I know. I, I mean, I, I can attest to that. Um, yeah, man. Because my brother taught at SME and he went to SME as well. So I was very close to the SME again yeah, uh, as well back then. And I left, he lived on a place right next to Element. So people like Smokey had to or come Element there. You know, too, other, yeah. you know mm. other guys had to come there, you know, from mm. the SME as well. Mm. Because, I mean, culture was on a high, you know, theatrical productions and things mm. like that. So, you know, there was always this gathering, you know, of, of young men in, in, in particular. And, and that was good back in the day. Yes, yes. Oh, I will not say we disappear again. We disappear, oh, again. disappear again, true, you know. <laughs> yes, you know, <laughs> sometimes you have to glitches, play this and, glitches. and bring in your, your guests. Anyway, yeah, you're back. Anyway, yes, all right. Okay, I don't know <laughs> so, why it's so, so sensitive. So, yeah, so, 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 I mean, at, at SMA, um, mm-hmm. the music continued at SMA. Were you, were, was there like um, like a group or something that, that was there at SMA playing music or... How did your music continue mm. then? Well, I remember guys bringing their instruments to school. You know, I brought my trumpet to school. I remember Smokey and them bringing their keyboards to school. Archie bringing his guitar to school. So guys were always doing things. Wadix and them went to the... I remember the Calypso too. We had Calypso at SMA mm-hmm. too. So we had a lot of guys involved in music. And up to this day, I will still say, Brother John Lewis was very fantastic on his guitar and his vocals. Sorry. Brother John oh, Lewis yeah. sings very well. I mean, I saw him do a performance of um, Gramps Morgan. Brother John Lewis, you're talking about Father John Lewis yes. now. Monsignor, John Lewis Monsignor, now yes. Monsignor, yeah, Monsignor, 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 Monsignor is a fantastic yeah. guitar player. Mm-hmm. You know, and, I, and and he sings very well. You know, I mean, he always impressed me with his vocals, mm-hmm. his vocal quality in pitch, in, in pitch, in key. Yeah. So it wasn't difficult to get a musical group at SME at that time. No nah, man, because SME the music was flowing there. You had your trumpet. You remember? You still have your trumpet. Yes, yeah, still have my trumpet. That same trumpet you had at. at no, 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 no. I oh, passed okay. through oh. different trumpets. Oh, I thought you would have preserved it, you know, no, for no. posterity. All right, interesting. So you all would what disturb class as well, or just know SMA is very much structured, so you cannot disturb the class. You have to, you have to do that maybe mm. during break time or things like that. What was happening? Recess time, break time. You know, guys would come certain days like, come as you like, close to carnival. Guys would come with their instrument to school, and you know, we'd play, and you know. People would come into the school, walk in. I remember Brother Jeremy in there supervising things and making sure things was okay. Mm-hmm. So music was always very important. Songs like what you all would play at SME, because I know SME is more like... Um, there was one word, it's like, La Petit, La Chau Noir. We used to do that um, <laughs> with our mouth. Just play that. Mm. <laughs> but just freak out that's with that. That's what, like that. a dance beat? No, that's... Yeah, that's a car dance. That's a... a dance beat. Okay. What is will tell you about it. Okay. So you all used to play all of these things? Yeah. That time, you your Calypso, I remember, I mean... Carnival time, SMA would be part of, of the whole scene in Dominica. Mm-hmm. Nigel, I was, almost, I was almost in a plane on SME, the coat of many colors. <laughs> oh, <for laughs> really? uh, yes, Joseph, was, yeah. I was very close to SME at that time, mm-hmm. you know, Nigel. Yes. Very, very, very what close. What is an old name? Yes, I was very close to SME. The coat of many colors. Many I colors, remember that yes. play. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. That, was a, that was a wonderful one down at St. Gerard at all. Mm, um, all right. Kelsey, what about, what about like in terms of discipline at SMA, would you say that, you know, that was probably um, the young boys were very disciplined or caught disciplined a lot? Yeah, man. I mean, that was one of the things that was good about SMA. And I remember Brother Jermaine. I'm I sure you can remember the year of the Tiger. Oh, yeah. oh. When Brother Jimmy came back, you know, I mean, it was the yes. year of the tiger, man. I, I can never forget that as long as I live, the year of the tiger. And Brother Jimmy decided he was instilling discipline into his boys. Mm. And, you know, he did, he did what he had to do. Because, I mean, without discipline, you cannot really teach. 
And Brother Jimmy made sure that there mm. was a foundational discipline in the school. I'll give him that, eh? Mm. Mm. Yes, right. yes, yes. I don't From think anybody guest. who went through there will not forget the year of the tiger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the year of the tiger, yeah. man. Can't. Brother Jimmy told us that yes. was the year of the tiger, man. So you, it yeah. was only Brother Jimmy during that time span for you at SMA? It was in terms of the person who was at the help? Yeah, Brother, Brother Jimmy was I know was there was Brother Hick, Wickham as well. And there was another one as well. Yeah, well, brother it was Wickham just brother Wick, there was brother Jimmy for you. Because yeah, I know you remember brother French. Um, brother yeah, French, I remember brother French. Yes, brother Jimmy French, French was in the science and... department, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, I think I've said enough about SME now. One thought about brother. So, one thought about brother, so, brother French. I think he was talking to us once, and he mm. told us. I think he was involved with the scientists that worked on the atomic bomb. You know. I think. Yes, sir. Yeah, French was a was a yeah very a tight guy, man. And he told us, really, I think really, he was yes, telling us yes. he worked with, I, I I don't think it's Oppenheimer or whatever them guys mm. that work on the atomic bomb. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, French was one of those, you know. Mm. Um, so I mean, before we move from it, move away from SMA, um, again in terms of your involvement in other activities, was it was it just music or did you do sports or did you do were you like a troublesome guy at school? What was it like for guys? That was calm, man. I was quiet at school. I was in trouble, so man. I, I mean, as I said, it was music. I remember guys like Wadix was into the sports. Wadix was a very sh strong short distance runner. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sports yes. day, you couldn't touch Wadix on that. We have had quite a few guests from the SME past guests. You know, who would have said that as well. Yeah, Wadix was good. He was strong, very short short distance, hundred meter. Yeah, Wadix was. Yeah. So, so SME was also high in sport. Where sport was concerned. At the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember guys like Michael Davis, Cha Cha. Mm -hmm. Remember Cha Cha, right? Um, Nigel. Oh, yes, Cha Cha, yeah, man. Cha Cha was, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so let's move from the SME now, Nigel. I think <laughs> <laughs> my head speed in there. That's a lot, man. Come on. Yeah, that's a, that's a long time ago too. Remember Sweater to Sylvester Henry? Yes, sir. He coming back. Quickly. Oh yes, yes, yes. Sweater mm. was also pretty good there as well. You know, in SME. If we start calling the SME boys, we'll have the rest of the program. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll SME boys, we. Now <laughs> talk about SME only. You know. So Every can't see you perfect, but you helping Nigel to give me some fire there. We boy and fire and angel let's give me you no know, encore. Well, Sparrow says school days were happy, happy days. Eh? Sir, boy. Yeah. But grammar um, SME and Gra Dominica Grammar School, Grammar Academites, um that too was on a yeah, high man. back in the day. So oh, we yeah. have to bring oh, in yeah. the Dominica oh. Grammar School of the obviously. Yeah. All right. But the guys yes. were artistic too my and two, sports. My, my yeah. two schools. <laughs> so 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 Kelsey from SME, um, because we want to get into yeah. saying you know, all the oh, yes. of it. From SMA, what happened to Kalti personally? Did you go um, work-wise? Did you find yourself teaching? Um, what 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 was it like? Mm -hmm. Well, from SMA, I I, I ended up um, teaching. I started at um, Goodwill School. I worked in Goodwill School. Then I went to Saint Luke's. Then I went up to Soufre. I worked in Soufre. Then I came back to Saint Luke's. Then I went to Buffet State in the JSP program, mm -hmm. which I said uh, that program, the JSP program, was very good. Actually, when I ended up in the JSP program, I organized Calypso shows for them uh, with, with the help of um, Jerome Badwill. Mm. So we used to organize, write songs for the guys and put on a big show, you know, standard, you know, mm -hmm. backup singers and everything. So many wow. of the guys at the JSP, you know, they were like very impressed and amazed and people was like, wow. And then from that, I came back into St. Saint, Saint Luke's mm. again and I ended up in St. Luke's, yeah. Yeah, wow. And the music continued there. Even yeah, the music looks, continued there. Have little talent them. shows going on and, and, and things like that. Yes, and then you see some fantastic students that come through. I actually end up writing songs for students, mm. Calypso's and so. Mm. And they competed in the Junior Monarch. Yeah, nice. so. Good. Yes, interesting, interesting story, Nigel. I like this. It I like is, this. It I is, like it where it's it going. It's it a nice journey. And I, I hope Curtis Matthews listening, by the way, because I mean, <laughs> there's something about Curtis at first Surrey did, and some of the songs well, that. I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, well, I and those songs there. Yeah, that's what Curtis yeah, likes me. Debuye. Yes, one, two, three, so under the mango the tree. Curtis like one, two, three under the mango tree. Boy. Yes, that was yes, that was Youngster's song. I remember. He was the party animal. Yes. DBS Sports Club had a jam at Galvanized Disco when we were raising funds at Galvanized Disco. And I tell you, I mean, that was one of the jams. And remember Delvin, you know, mm -hmm, uh, Jabo mm -hmm. Delvin yes. was trying to pick up bottles throughout mm -hmm. the dance. And he just couldn't get a chance because okay. every time he was going to pick up the bottle, Serenade would start playing yes, the song and yes. he would just stop mm -hmm. and dance for the rest of the night. But we'll get to Serenade in yes, a little while, though, yes. 
Um, teaching at St. Luke's Primary, um, you did music and what, agricultural science? That's yes, agricultural it. science, yeah. The kids were very into the agricultural science, eh? They really like that. Do they still have agricultural science in the school at St. Luke's? Or yes, the yes, um, they still have agricultural sciences. They have a very nice greenhouse down there. Mm. And it's, it's, it's important because kids have to know where food comes from. Mm. And I must say the children, when I did it, um, they really liked it. They planted stuff. They harvested stuff. They took care of stuff. They understand the importance of how to handle seedlings. We had a, um, a drip system, irrigation drip system. Mm. So the kids used to go under the greenhouse and plant mm. their stuff. I like and, that. So it and they like that. It wasn't just theoretical. It was um, hands-on. Yeah, stick tomatoes yes. and take out the you know the auxiliary buds and them thing. Those children yeah, really like that. Oh. And up to the day, they'll meet me on the street and tell me, I planted some stuff, you know, and, and this and that and that. and yeah. So are you planting, um, Kalti? Well, I have a big backyard. I usually, but right now I took I took a little break because I'm just repairing a building, so okay. that took that, that takes most of. But my you time. love to put your hands and feel the soil, right? Put your hands oh yes, the definitely. Soil That's a it. nice feeling. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Boy, what about what, what about the kids in terms of when you were teaching them agricultural science? What kind of brought joy to you? Mm-hmm. What they can? What, made you what brought joy to what, you what from, you from that experience? What made you feel happy when you when you were teaching agricultural science with the kids? Mm-hmm. What about it made you feel like, man, this is really good? Mm-hmm. Well, the satisfaction, the smiles on their faces, eh? and the, the excitement because they really liked it. You know, they'll come and tell me oh, what I would do too. Sometimes I would give them certain seeds like corn, tomato seeds, cabbage, and I tell them go home. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. they, and, they, and there was a particular guy I can never forget that. His mom says he has a gift for you, you know. And he comes in with his biggest cucumber. He told me, wow. sir, I bring that for you, you know. Yeah. Wow. He brought his wow. cucumber for me. He planted it to me. I planted it, you know. Mm-hmm. And I brought you my cuc- one of his yeah. biggest cucumbers, yeah. So the kids, what they used to do is plant their stuff at home. I would give them seeds. Mm-hmm. And, and that brought you joy. And, and they I tell love me, this. yeah, I plant my thing, you know, and I have that. I love this coming from an educator, Nigel. Because I remember back in the day as well, even at primary school, you know, the, 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 bean, the kidney beans. You would have mm-hmm, um, maybe mm-hmm. homework to do, put it in a tissue paper, you right? Know, right, right, right. Yes, yes. So you put it in a thing, for and two then minutes, yes, and the seed come through, man. Yeah. And you'd be so happy, you know, even at that age. And then to hear a teacher, you know, being so satisfied and commending you for that, mm-hmm. you know, that will always be etched do in your you, memory. Do, do you feel that we should probably be having agricultural science taught throughout the schools, throughout. especially in the primary school level? Oh yes, definitely. Because I mean, Dominica is an agri- agricultural based country, and we and one important thing, we have good soil, and rain compared to other islands. I mean, I, I as I told you, I grew up part of my life in Barbados, and the soil in Dominica compared to the soil in Barbados, a vast mm-hmm. difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And not only that, I mean, even at the preschool level too, we have to do this, especially now mm-hmm. also, because when you look at food security, the challenges that are confronting us, mm-hmm. and it's getting worse. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. So if you can start at a very young age, you know, and inculcate that into the minds yeah, of the very, importance very young of agriculture. Yeah. 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 And kids like doing that. Trust me, they like doing it. I'll show them how to make their beds and when they come out, tell them, Okay, you can't walk on your bed. I'll tell them, Do you walk on your bed at your home? And the importance of drains to control pests like slugs and how to come and weed and yeah. How weeds affect their crops. Yeah, and kids really like that. Mm, nice. Even from the young ones. They will look at their characteristics of living things. Living things breathe, they move, they grow. So they, they understand that plants breathe, they move, they grow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And the importance of sunlight, eh? Yeah. That all that kids do, kids like that. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes, Nigel. You see, I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the other side of... Of, 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 of the music. musician. <laughs> yes, the other side of the musician, the education, mm-hmm. the educator part. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, having taught for all those years and still having that passion for it and making sure that our kids can be involved in something that's practical, mm-hmm. you know. Um, you also did a little music as well at St. Luke's Brand, right? Oh, yes, I did a little music with them. I organized, you know, I, and so when you could print out the little stuff for them, the little handouts, they like that a lot and they can identify with their handouts, yeah. There, there's a lot of things that I really, really love about St. Luke's. And Nigel, I'm not sure if you have been, I, I'm sure you have been following the news and you too, all involving culture. They hold this very dear to their hearts, um, culture mm-hmm. in particular. And I, I, I can recall once they had um, a ceremony to recognize um, people who would have done well in, 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 in culture. 
and um, but they did so many other things, you know, throughout the years, over the years. St. Luke's always coming up with something innovative, and I must applaud, you know, the principal and staff. Oh, yes, it's Danisa, that's Luke's. that kind of a stuff, that's that kind of thing, yeah, yeah, all right, okay, definitely. So, yes, but just so, before we move on from SMA, Church, I want to tell you good morning, Michael Davis, you know, I mean. Cha cha man, Michael Davis. Yes, that's how we call him, Cha Cha. <laughs> I never thought of the white people. I never thought of the white You going back to SMA again, eh? But Nigel, there, no, there was a song about Cha Cha. There was a song about Cha Cha, Nigel. About Cha Cha. I'm sorry, I went back to SMA. Okay. Yes. <laughs> there was a song about Cha Cha, as you say that, Nigel. I never thought of the white people in Cha Cha. No, but I was just saying, there was a song about Cha Cha, you know. Cha Cha man, I wa. Well, there's a Cha Cha song. Che be ti vole. Kuru no one day we live. La pot fa la pot tu. Funet pa funet. Something like that. Well, we we good to it. Anyway, let's go on with Kalti. I wonder you want to write. You want to write a Calypso man for next year. Yes, because because Michael Davis mentioned us. I went back to SMU not because. Okay, okay, now yeah, yes. Let's let's move on. But 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 look through good today, right? Snap all right. I go to snap all right. Tell you, leave those SMU people today. Hey, you know, we let me leave all right. And just leave those SMU yeah. people today. Let me leave so, all your you know. Um, <laughs> but but in terms of, I mean, Kelsey, so I mean, the music that you do, the music there with, with the Saint Luke's Primary as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wanted to find out something that you know I would always like to ask as well. In terms of the community point, Michelle, oh, yes. and you know, raising the kids, we always say it takes a village to raise mm-hmm. a child and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What was it like in the Point Michel community? Was yeah. there like, I mean, in terms of the the elders, the respect, and so on? What was it like growing up in Point Michel? Well, growing up in Point Michel, in my time, well, we had to behave ourselves. There was more discipline. You know, you had to respect elders. You had to listen to what they were telling you. So, growing up with our elders, it was like strict. But again, still, they loved their children. Mm-hmm. So they would look out for the like so. One elder in the community would, would all the children in the community would be that eldest child, and yeah. you know, mm-hmm. so the They'll other elders would do you, that as you know, well. And then yes. Point Michel at the time, well, I wasn't really involved in sports. Had a lot of sports like football, like my brother-in-law Glenn Etienne and those mm-hmm. guys went to the football and and whatnot. You know, like Alan Toussaint. You remember those mm-hmm. um, um, General Abassien? Those guys were going to their football. In, and one thing with Point Michel, the guys would always go on the playing field and and do their stuff. That's in Pore. Pore, right. Okay. You have guys like Kunta Kinte you now who's running that over. Kunta Kinte actually mm. works with the band, but we'll get around to that. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, do you feel like, I mean, just before we get into serenity, do you feel like the that level of excitement and togetherness and, and everybody looking out and Point Michel vibrant music, this, do you think that have kind of disappeared a little in, in, in Point Michel? Well, I mean, in life now, I mean, in Dominica, around the world, there are changes. Things will never be the same how it was like 20, 30 years ago. There will always be change. But Point Michel is always still a, a close-knit community. Though you have a lot of strangers who have moved into Point Michel now because of... Um, Point Michel is very large and now, yes. Yeah, yeah and, and the place has expanded up in Union Estate. Mm-hmm. So Point Michel right now, I would say, is like a city right now. Mm. The Point Michel on the roadside where Ivona used to go and get her coconut cakes. Mm-hmm. And Point Michel now. And Point Michel now into Union Estate is, yeah. is, is, is a different yeah. thing. And even the Point Michel, just um, the, the going up to Point Michel under the, um, how you call this? Solomon. Solomon, yeah. Th- that's a big difference. Oh, you know, yes, compared, compared to, to when you were there, right? This little, little you know. The little track, the yeah. little road. Yeah, big, big difference. So that's an engineering work that, you know, is very commendable. The mm-hmm. sea was pushed back, so the road access into Point yeah. Michel is much better. Mm-hmm. La Puets. La Puerto City, man. Mm-hmm. And then you pass into Hollywood. Vibrant. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. Definitely so. Yes, yes. La Puerta. So, so, Carlsy, we're going to move into Serenade and the music thing. But the final thing, on because I kind of, I mean, agriculture is so important to us. And the fact that you <laughs> like were teaching those kids. Yeah, yes. Because I think sometimes we don't recognize yeah. um, the importance of it. And we don't mm-hmm. recognize starting mm-hmm. it from very early with the kids true. and making sure that they yeah. have that love and, you know, appreciation for it. So I'm happy St. Luke's is still doing that. Nigeria, you have smart man, you know. Nigeria, you smart, you know. Well, SMA, SMA. We, boy, I was just about to say, why you say that? No. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I know what my mouth in that. Let's eh? move on, let's uh, move on. I try to move away from SMA and she's bringing us back to SMAs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, mm. I mean, in terms of the, mm. I mean, I mean, your kids that you would have thought, have you seen any of them, like, mm. continuing with the agriculture mm. out there? Is it something that, because I wouldn't want a situation where we do it at the primary school and then we don't 
Maybe you can help me, Ivono. Do we have it at the secondary schools? I know community. Yeah, yes, some of the yes. secondary schools oh, yes. have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the music too. Oh, yes. The, 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 the secondary schools. I know the Dominica Grammar School, we mm -hmm. continue. I mean, there's big construction going now, now for, you know, a new edifice for the Dominica Grammar School. But in terms of greenhouse farming and, and things like that, Dominica Grammar School has this on point. And several schools as well, especially beautiful, the schools, beautiful. you know, outside of Roseau. A lot of the schools. Uh, a lot, a lot of these students get involved in yeah. that, you know. Because agriculture is much more than what we used to think of it back in the day. Like mm -hmm. planting, agriculture, there's a whole science there. So there are various various sectors in agriculture that students, you know, have to become familiar with as well. So I think all the schools, if I can say so. Quite a few of the schools practice the yeah. agriculture. They do it quite a few. Even the music too, because I meet students that tell me, Sir Boy, actually I went by a friend of mine um, this week. And, his, and he was telling me his, uh, his daughter got like um, A in music. Mm. She was showing me her mm. report card. Mm. The schools are doing, yes, music And she's telling well. me she's going to, she goes to Orion Academy. And she tells me, nice. I'm mashing it up, you know, because yeah. of you, you know. Nice. Because when she goes, she's showing other students. Mm -hmm. Because we just did the basics, like they, they can identify their yes, notes, their okay. beats, their counts mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. their, their, their Steve. So she's telling me, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's she's good doing and good. that's good because and even you, if you look at the schools arts festival as well you'll see a lot of talent there a lot of talent dominica has a lot of schools. talent definitely um what i'm not sure about happening right now and i was kind of disappointed in um a few years ago um is the the, the fact that at the cxc level we did not have many students writing um like taking up liberal arts you know theater and things like that mm. so mm. I, I i guess probably by now we so it's it's different in the sense that um more students are doing this but we have a lot of talent at schools we do we do we do yes yeah, so so kelsey um we're gonna move into serenade and what happened with yes. the music of course but before that i know sma had a wonderful agricultural scientist teacher um mr jolly mr jolly yeah man yes Yes, Jolly was a top notch mm. when it came to agricultural <laughs> science at oh, yes, SMA. Mr. So Jolly. that's that's it. SMA done. Yes, I wouldn't yeah. know my SMA yeah. for the day. My head's still in there, but what two D? Too much no, SMA in my head, David. No way we can do more SMA. Now. And I went to S. Nigel, I went to SMA on on, on Thursday. You know, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. You know. Taking our food. Oh, I yes. went there on Thursday to to do something. We'll talk yes. about yes. that. Yes, wonderful, yes. wonderful, yes. wonderful. We'll talk about that. Yeah, man. Um. So so so, Kelsey, in terms of the music, though, I mean, serenade. Um. How did Serenade come about? How did Serenade come about? Okay. Well, the name Serenade, Adrian Mitchell, who has passed and gone to the great beyond, he came up with the name Serenade. And I told him Serenade seems kind of lonely by itself. Mm -hmm. So I added first and we came up with the name first Serenade. Just a good. Yep. That's how we came up with the name. But mm. then there was always a lot of music in Point Michel because I remember you had guys, I remember telling you from the, well, I won't even go there again, SMA. You had guys like Bad Will. Eric Badwell, Eric Badwell, and of uh, fame, and Archie. These guys were always playing their, their their guitars. These guys were always into music. Actually, to sequence, Archie taught Eric how to sequence. Mm. And mm. then you had other guys like Ras Ozi. Well, his son who used to play trumpet with me. Right now, his son is doing saxophone with me. So then you had a lot of guys that just came together, and we just started to just organize to play music. But what was happening at the time, Ducati? Why were you so much involved in, in music? Ob obviously, you mentioned, of course, you had your trumpet from SMA days, I know. Mm. But in terms of what you were listening to on radio, what was the vibes like in Dominica? Was it Cadence that influenced that style for, 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 for Serenade or Zuko? Or, or, I just want to get a feel of how Serenade um, came about with those talented guys. What was happening in society at the time on the music landscape? Well, it was various genres of music, you know, but I think one of the most influential music that really kind of sparked the band was the Casa. Archie was a very deep guy into the Casa vibes. And Archie was a very creative guy. And mm -hmm. then Eric again, those, those two guys, they were very strong musicians. Mm -hmm. And that made it very easy. Then we had guys like Wayne Wilkins, um, who used to live, actually lived in St. Lucia for quite a while. Very good guitarist. So these guys were very deep into their music, very good. And then we started in church too. Always playing music in mm. church is basically a bit more difficult because you have a lot of minors and whatnot. So slowly. Father Reggie, Reginald Loeffler, he had a youth mass. So every Saturday he would tell us, come and play for him in church. Mm. And he gave us our first set of instruments. Mm. And then my wow. mom also assisted us with instruments. Mm -hmm. So that in itself kept the guys going. So we just branched out from there, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we made our first big hit was Zuke Zuke. 
Yes, lovely Dominic. Lovely Dominic, yes. right? I wrote Boy, that I used to play that way when I was right. oh, on radio. That was a song. Right, that was our first hit. Yeah. For reunion yeah. 88. Mm-hmm. Zuke yeah. Zuke. Man, that was just powerful. Was and then after that, that Ivona's um, favorite song, Curtis song, Debuye. <laughs> Bad Will came out with that Debuye album. Well, Beth Lalaji was one big one for me too, you know. Well, Beth Lala was in. That was later on, yes. But um, Beth Lalaji, I have many memories about Beth Lalaji. Yeah, especially Beth Lalaji was in 94. 94. I remember the pot boy night. Gel pot jam. Well, like hmm. pot, pot jam. <laughs> Boy, la, Jay. Nigel, Nigel, I was like the best. Yes, la, Jay, then. Oh, <laughs> La, Jay, Beth, me. la, Jay, on the pot. Yeah, those were the days. But but your work um is a confluence of your, your different musical styles, talking about first serenade. And so you create very unique songs. Was this deliberate from the get-go, from when you started? When you when you met, did you say, guys, um, let, let, let's do something different from what we already have? Well, Serenade, or have a different song somewhat because you have a different song. Oh yeah, Serenade always again to Serenade. I said is is different genres, but especially the Kasav genre that touched Archie and Eric that sparked them a lot. Badwill had his attack attacking keyboard playing style. Oh, Eric Badwill, and then boy. you had a lot of guys that were just pushing stuff, and then Archie was there. They had my brother Stanley Winston. What used to call him the musical beast of the nation because he used to run the system, coming to Roseau for carnival and. That was it. Serenade into tongue and that was it. Shaking the place up. Boy. Hmm. Yes, Actually, you ever, you ever bounce yes. on a serenade? You ever it's follow A and M truck with the, 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 the speakers at the back? A and M songs. Oh, and go up I mean, um, Constitution Hill by um, St. Martin's School there. And oh, jump on a serenade from the port. <laughs> yes, sir. From the port jam. It's trouble. It's trouble. Boy, it's I change you. I change you. <laughs> You know you but can't but do that I anymore. You know, it's energy too. I had, no, I had a, I had yes. a. Yes, 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 yes. You guys had an energy going through there. Um, but but, but without tripping you, I can without tripping. I can remember one thing that I mean was significant. Um, Serenade so actually changed the route of carnival in Roseau, you know. And I will explain that to mm. you. Explain. When Serenade used to come into town, we used to turn by um Patty Shack. Right. Mm-hmm. So the speakers... Right there, Raffles there. Raffles mm-hmm. there, right. The, the truck is a problem to go inside there. Mm-hmm. So then we used to get a driver from the port, um, Spacey. Excellent driver. Whenever they reach there, Spacey had to take the truck and pass oh, in there. So then the police used to call us to have meetings, both we and WCK. Emil Deputa used to represent WCK, I used to represent Serenade. And I told the police that we're looking for a recommendation to change that. That... Because that is a problem. Mm, that was a problem. That would stop the jam for a long oh, while. Right. Yeah, and fellas yeah, saying, turn dear, turn dear, bendy the cuckoo. Right. Oh, come on. No, yeah, no, 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 listen to that. No, the second spot they gave us was um, by uh, the back of Royal Bank. Remember the back of Royal Bank, mm. the band used to pass yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then that, Serenade, yeah. Serenade always wanted to pass on the Bayfront. Because when we enter on the Bayfront, we figured there's a cruise ship there, peep tourists there. Right now, the route that they are using today, Serenade was again instrumental in that. I can remember there was, a, I mean, I, I, I can say that now. There was a particular year. Mm-hmm. They said, if Serenade goes on the Bayfront, arrest them. So a police come <laughs> and he knocks my foot and he calls T-Boy, you're my partner. Because remember, Eric Badwell was in the police force. Mm-hmm. So he comes and he calls if you go on the Bayfront, they will arrest, we will arrest you. So we went on the Bayfront, let me switch off your music, turn, and we entered in back by Coco Rico to right, come back right, on right, the right. But the first band that actually wanted to go on the Bayfront and, and started that trend of going on the Bayfront. Right now, the Bayfront is where the bands is are it? being judged. Mm. Serenade was the pioneer that did that, mm. you know. And that was the area as well where the, the Point Michel bus stop was in, in, in that area, in that, you know, mm. square there. So it was only fitting as well because yeah. that was your territory as well. Eh? <laughs> but I'm just looking at the Facebook and someone is saying, Marlene J, Ivon Zyron from the port on the piece of Ron Solomon. Boy, that wasn't easy then this. <laughs> and chicken reading. Oh my goodness. But yourself <laughs> did it to us too. Eh? Guys speak up all chickens and they went by KFC. KFC was by um, where um, Dr. Farah's his office now. And guys said, okay, we bring chicken for you all, you know. Fellas, pick up all kind of chicken and they, they band with chicken, you know. Mm-hmm. But, but, but let us go back to, to... Nigel, you want to say something on that? No, 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 no. I was no. going to just, in terms of when you mentioned about Father Laffle and the church and mm-hmm. Serenade being in the church and so on. I mean, in a way, that was like an introduction to local music into the church because I could yeah. imagine the kind of music you guys were playing. Oh, in the but church. the dry the groove. The of the songs. They like that. In, in, the, in the church, eh? You could take your, your boy, take your foot in the church. <laughs> 
it was good. That was good. But I wanted to go back though, um, mm-hmm. t- to the very beginning as well. So you all formed the band. You all become popular. So I want to know about that. When you all traveled, the first time you traveled, what was the the reviews like coming from the other islands? I want t- you to talk as well about the um, the the bands versus bands in in Dominica time. Of course, mm-hmm. WCK first serenade. What was happening? So put that for us in a nutshell. Let us understand what was happening then. Well, there was strong rivalry between for Serenade and, and WCK. I can remember a particular year talking about the same port that you enjoyed there. Both of us ended the rules at the same time. Mm-hmm. One on the East Bridge, one on the West Bridge. I was there, eh? Oh, oh you, you were in the middle God, of that. Of course, man. And that used to be, you know, like strong competition mm-hmm. between those two bands. And that actually fueled the creativity of both bands. And that helped Dominica to the extent that a lot of people used to look forward to that carnival i mean we used to hustle come out with our music make sure the music comes out. i mean right now it's one song two songs mm-hmm. but back in the days yeah. it was cds and cassettes Man, remember CDs, the cassette yes. nigel but of course oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes so back in the day it was that so all those things i mean took part into you know the, the whole dominica genre of the music mm-hmm. and people were appreciating first hearing it right from free, since you started you always had a large following oh How yes because Serenade is a band that played everywhere in dominica every nook and cranny H G K B C D everywhere. Grand Bay, Sufria, Scott said, name it. As for Maho, Portsmouth. Mm-hmm. I used to go right Portsmouth. I used to go there. I used to go Portsmouth. Purple Turtle on the Beach. That used to yeah. be good. Yeah. In itself. So was there was there a particular community that Serenade was it? I mean, that community that you just know Serenade mm-hmm. control mm-hmm. that area. Mm-hmm. But what I can say about but almost all communities in Dominica. But you're very popular Porsi. in Portsmouth. Yeah, Portsmouth. You used yeah. to go to Portsmouth for a lot. We used to be in Portsmouth a lot. Every holiday, like May Day, Easter Monday, Boxing Day, name it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can can you remember the first time uh, that first serenade traveled? The very, very first travel. Very first time. Outside, you know, travel for first serenade. First Outside of Dominica. What was it like? Can you remember? If not the year, but I mean just the experience. What do you remember about it? If you well, remember, obviously. one of my biggest experiences I can I can I can figure I can see is, is England, because we did England after Befla, ninety four ninety five we went to England back to back two thousand and four two thousand and five, England was a, a, an experience by itself. I mean, when you play Notting Hill, that is the biggest carnival in Europe. That is like about one million mm-hmm, people. And mm-hmm. uh, when you do that, that is an experience. I mean, you see, you're Notting Hill and you see do the wiper. Hmm. And that is population. <laughs> eh? idea, we? You see white people and yeah. real Notting Hill, name it. That is mm-hmm. an awesome experience. That was a big experience for you. To do I, the wiper. Yeah. But I know you mentioned Carl T, you mentioned WCK. But give us an idea of um in terms of the other bands that were on the scene at that time. We had our RSB and we had others. So just bring us back to that time when we had other bands. Back to so that so era, name you some had, of the other bands oh, yeah, from you WCK. Had, you had Effects. Oh yes, yes. Play Effects. Play Effects. Play. play. Mm-hmm. Then you had Rough and Ready too. You oh, know, Rough and Ready yes. was a strong contender too. Man, you know? yeah. With Bob and his voice mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. Bob used to run it. Rough and Ready was a tight little mm-hmm. band too. Mm-hmm. Very good. Amio, yeah. Mm-hmm. Big day. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So, 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 Kelsey, in terms of the music, look, you had all those bands that you just mentioned, you know, like when I was just mentioning all those bands. Um, it seemed to me that at that time we had like, you know, seven, eight, nine bands and, and, and yet still there was space for all of them. Each of them had their following, mm-hmm. right? Um, did Serenade make an attempt to, 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 to have its own kind of distinct song? Like this is when you hear it, you know, that's. That's a full serenade mm. song. Of course. That man serenade had their distinct sound. I mean, Ivone is a fan, she can tell you, and mm-hmm. Curtis can tell you. Serenade had their distinct mm-hmm. sound. Serenade still, was, was, yeah. was a more you kind hear of a serenade, man. rough kind of band. Once you hear serenade, and you know like, it's a serenade. And at the time when Badwill was there, that stayed on an Archie. They made that very important touch to the band, mm-hmm. the music of the band. So so let me be controversial a little bit, as always, because we like to connect the dots yeah. and connecting the dots. Sure. Boo your music. Mm-hmm. Was it Serenade or was it WCK? I will give it to both. I will give it to both bands. I cannot, okay. you know, I cannot claim and say so Serenade alone, the same but time both, both bands. bands. It, it, it can't be one band because at the end of the day, both bands contributed significantly to that genre. Mm-hmm. Snapper, mind me. Snapper is telling me on the I, life. I want to just give it to oh, me. Oh, well, Snapper telling you. Yeah, should tell you what they're saying? No, 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 mind me, Nigel. Let's go on. You're asking a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, the, the bouillon and um, how it started. The competition between both bands brought up the genre. Not no one band that did that. 
Okay, I like that answer. I like that answer. So mm-hmm. no one band can claim nah, that they are the that they are the ones that the originators of Boya music. Nah, because both of them. Because when you listen to how bad we'll play the at the time the competition will. between those two mm-hmm. bands, that was like, you know, nineteen ninety five when I can tell you, I mean the Dominica was ruled by Zary did. Mm-hmm. Yep. You remember what you remember the album you got? And then after that year? Rough up the session. Rough up the session. Rough up. Mm. Rough up. Nothing going to touch that album. Yeah. And then the following year, CK comes out with two show, two flam. Mm-hmm. But I tell you, the music was just, wow. I mean, Dominica was just, boy, yep. I wish you could go back to those days. And then Bad Will comes out with Try a Thing, in which you have One Two Friend of the Mango Tree and Do the Wiper. So. Song. One Two Friend of the Mango Tree, yeah. Yes, do the wipe. We had I big tracks. That beautiful one, do yeah. the wipe. But but and apart yeah. from that too, and I speak as a broadcaster announcer as well because Nigel and it has happened maybe to all of us. So especially back in the day, you'd get the cassettes, you'd get the CDs, and you'd play the mo- the popular songs that everybody's playing. And then sometimes maybe years after or year after you realize, but just now you mean that song was on the CD? I'm sure I'm mm-hmm. you all had this oh, yeah. this beef with, with 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 announcers and broadcasters who would only play like maybe one or two songs on on any particular CD. And yeah, that, that used to songs. happen a lot. Yeah, and a lot. I mean, Chanel Amu is just a big song from first seventy-eight. And and uh, what year did you uh, you did the country and western? I can't um, remember. To be honest I have it, you know. I wish I could play it, you know. Yeah. But um, I don't want them to cut us But off. I'll give you a story about Charlie Lamu, eh? That video we shot of Charlie Lamu, that made the song even with more Mobin popular. Mm-hmm. Um, Roy was with me and we went and we, um, we had to get some girls to go by um, Reggie Schillingford up there in um, Rygate. Um, yeah. It's Rygate. Yeah, they call Reg- it, right? Reg- mm-hmm. Yeah, Rygate, yeah. So I go to I go to Joey Pelty and I tell him, um, so Roy tell me, Carty, we're going to get some girls, man. So I go to Joey Pelty and I tell him, um, we want to do a video called Charlie Lam One. I would like to ask you if your daughter can be in the video. So Joey Pelte goes to me. I hope you're not bringing my daughter in no kind of um mad. I said, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Good, clean video, yeah. man. And it's clean. And I can remember Mr. Volney. You can remember Mr. Volney. Mr. Volney was our history teacher at Oh, yeah. of course. oh yes. At SME. He taught me I'm history as well at SME. <laughs> SME. I used okay, to okay, okay, at okay. SME. Coincidence. So Mr. Yes, Volney sir. goes to me, he tells me, Calty. I must admit that is a. V- and when a man like Mr. Volney tells you that, mm-hmm. yes, that is a man that you know, high repute and you know, my history teacher tells me that is one of the best videos I've seen. So Joey Pelter tell me, yes, yeah, she can go in the video and she can you know, act in the video for you guys, not a problem. So you know, doing those things, those videos at the time helped the yeah. band a lot. But alas, come Carlty, um, mm. I'll ask for some people. That Pagume Punam, that video. Yes. <laughs> That's Roro, we boy. I check in. What is that? Who does that? But, but that was well executed, I must say. Well executed. Hats off to Fusu. It was impromptu. And it Pass was good. It. You see, sometimes. The church ceremony was impromptu. Yeah. Wow. That was well executed. Nigel, I'm sure you saw the, saw the video. Oh, Big fight. I mean, I oh, yes, yes. Big fight. You saw this, this scene yes. with the acolytes kneeling down, oh, yes, making the oh, sign yes, of the cross. Oh, yes. The acolytes came and they brought there. I didn't tell him to do that, but the acolytes brought and there. It added to the video. It really worked. Yes, and they came. Yes. I said, okay, we're gonna shoot a video. And the whole community, mm-hmm. for Michelle again. See, the whole yeah, community, the whole community just was came involved. Yes. And we told them what they had to do, and that was it. Pago yeah, Don't talk about donkey tricks. Mu- so in terms of creating the music, I mean, mm-hmm. um, I know you've mentioned, you know, um, Archie and then Eric and so on. Was it like a a a, a combination of you guys coming together in the studio or in the, in, in the band house and just putting stuff together was it somebody responsible for writing mm-hmm. for arranging mm-hmm, for mm-hmm, producing mm-hmm. what was it like okay i'll tell you how it was like uh with rough up the session that was the year badwill got suspended from the police force stanley got suspended from mapping telecom Merci, because they told him make up your mind is it a music hmm. or mapping I don't know what board is bad will issue, but okay. Badwill, Stanley, Rui, they were in the band house and Makalulu. <laughs> mm. They had the old reel to reel that they got from Ken Robinson and hold it inside their fiddling. And that is how Rough Up the Session wow. came out, you know. Wow. Boy, so I Archie mean. would come and put down his bass line. Mm-hmm. Bad will be their sequencing. Stanley would come with ideas. Rui would come with ideas and they would do their thing. Wow, this is bringing shivers, man. When I think of those days, yeah, man. Wow. The holy music was yeah. created, oh, then goodness. it was almost like a brotherly thing. And it was a community. Let me tell you something. And 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 point, Michelle, people were behind the first serenade. Eh? 
Yeah. You couldn't say anything bad about for Serenade because they would want to like ready to jump on you. That is how they, you know, just they saw for Serenade as like a beacon of hope for the community. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I can Serenade remember we playing by um Fresh Market. That that empty lot is been surrounded mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Opposite Fresh Market. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And WCK will be People's Park. So yes. one band by Fresh Market, yeah. one band by People's Lot. People's and People's, people's Park. Park. People's, and let's yeah. go. Eh? Wow. Yes, 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 yes. That was that nice, beautiful rivalry. And, and Port that, Jam, I will know. That was another big jump too. <laughs> Boy. Organized by mm-hmm. the port. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, everyone, I want to, re- to remember when she Man. was all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Can you imagine you jumping from the port to oh, Rosso? port to Rosso. And then you have oh, to yes. go up the oh, hill yes. because oh, yes. A&M, jam, you know, yes. would have to go and pack, you know, scientific mm-hmm. roles and would have to... Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. How did you guys come up with creating the music locals in terms of the... Pagumi Punam, Rough Up the Session and Wiper and all. Mm-hmm. How was it, were you looking at things happening in the community? How, how, yeah. how did you create Community life. Well, definitely community life, as I've said, you're looking at what is happening in your surroundings and you get an idea and you just write this song and go with it and put the music towards it and, and let's go. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I know oh, that I... full serenade, I have a... Uh, 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 Kada seem to be also one of your strong points. Mm-hmm. Apart from the Booyah and so on, you, you play Kada's pretty well. Yes, what you... influence, what influence, if any, would people like Gordon Henderson and so on have on, on, on First Serenade? Mm-hmm. Well, Gordon, yes, Gordon influenced us all. Because I'll be honest with you, I always liked Exile One because Exile One had a lot of brass. Whereas Gramax brought in brass, brought in brass later down. So I always liked Exile, Kremlin Fingal and them. I used to listen to them. So that in itself... I was a strong follower of Exile. Mm-hmm. Okay, so listen a lot to, to Gordon mm-hmm. Henderson. Yeah, man. Papa Creole. And then in 2014, the Kada Slip So competition by, hosted by NCCU, yeah. which I think they should bring that back because one thing I think they should do every year, they should do a Kada CD that would stay mm-hmm. for the archives of Dominica so that cultural heritage, that would always be mm-hmm. there because the Creole language is very, like St. Lucia, the Creole language. There are certain communities in Dominica where people do not speak Creole. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know a particular yeah. friend of mine that cannot speak a word and understand a word of Creole. I mean, he wouldn't get upset, but Chad Ambu cannot speak Creole. And he's one of the best videographers mm-hmm. around. Mm. So Creole in itself, I figure we need to... Uh, I know how Wadix must be happy if I'm saying that. <laughs> the Creole language, we need to do something. At NCCU, I must commend them. NCCU did a fantastic job with the Carter Slips of Competition they used to do. Mm-hmm. Serenade won that in 2014. Hands down. Mm. Yes, Serenade, yes. That was the And then everybody had to make one or two songs, one fast, one slow. Right. So that was like a good vibe to revitalize the Kadas. Mm-hmm. Because you, mm-hmm. when a country has like two genres, you have Bouillon, you have Kadas. That is good. More music you have. So it means your production of music in the country is better. Mm-hmm. Another it thing is. about First Serenade Kalti is that you always have this um, excitement, uh, exciting frontman that um, over the years, obviously, and we, we can, w- right now we have Lloydy, mm-hmm. and but um, you mentioned his name earlier, he's in St. Martin, oh my goodness, my Rui. friend, Rohi, Rohi too or something else, and and then you'd have Makalulu sometimes coming, you know, back in the day yeah. at the front, and so you always, um, so that was deliberate as well, right? Because well, yeah, every band. band would want to get somebody exciting, obviously. Okay, but there but was something different about, you know, their moves on stage. Yeah, well, your front band is a, like a conduit between the band and the audience, you know. And I mean, Rui did it well. But then Lloyd is the energizer of money. <laughs> Lloyd doesn't get tired. And one thing Lloyd does very well, I mean, the, the last song with, which has become a hit for us right now, Enjoy Your Life, mm-hmm. was written by Lloyd. Which and that song is doing mm-hmm. very well. That song right now is almost 40,000 views mm-hmm. for a song that just came out recently. Mm-hmm. Wow. What, uh, what is Eric Badwell involved in now, though? He's still, he's still with music? I know he did some gospel music. Gospel. I think Eric went into gospel. That, that is where he's been right now. Eric, Eric, well, Eric is in, is in London, mm-hmm. but he's more into gospel stuff. Because, of course, we know talk, the original um, first when it is not he is no longer here. Obviously, well, Carlty, of course, you are still around. Lloyd, he, well, Lloyd has been with a us for 20-something years. 20-something years. So years already. Boogie is still there. Yes, yes. So we have quite a few old members that have been there for quite a while. Mm-hmm. When I say old, they've been in the band for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then you must bring a new influx of guys that can come in with the technology for you, mm-hmm. the laptop, the sequencing, the sampling, making it. Because right now, technology has moved by leaps and bounds. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. So you must use those things to enhance the music. So what has been happening in recent years though with with First Serenade? Apart from you, you know, producing music, um, do you go? Do you get gigs? Do you, you know, are people call it for you? Overseas? Yeah, we're getting quite a few gigs around. People have been calling us, especially the last song that we just did. Quite a few people have been very much interested in working with the band. They have been calling me from outside of Dominica, around the island, which is our base. We do quite a few gigs in the island. Mm. Okay. Some actually somebody just called me yesterday for San Sauve. Okay. For their feast. That and you love a, the you love community um actually. Oh like yes, this, right? it's from the community. You get people from all over and people enjoy themselves and it's making people happy. It's enjoying doing what you like doing. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to one of your videos. Um, I'm trying to remember which one. You know, the one with the 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 farmer. Um, with his jewel on his back or something on his head, something like that. Oh, donkey tricks. Oh, do okay. So that was the, oh, yes, yes, yes. And the donkey. Mm -hmm. Nigel, mm -hmm. you saw this one as well, right? Oh, yes, donkey tricks. Oh, yeah, yes. Well crafted, oh, yes. well crafted. Well, well done. Well and that's a community together. man, right? Yes, Somebody Mr. Tuse. Yeah, that, that man has since passed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And when I went to get him to do that, he was like, no problem, no problem. <laughs> guys came out guy brought the donkey into yeah. the school and that's what i love I people love come around and fellas yeah mm -hmm. people want to be in video yes and that's what i love too about your 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 videos you always had to get the ordinary man on the street well mm -hmm. obviously in lapwet because you choose your people mm -hmm. you know to bring out a story you know from a song and that really worked well that was good the recent one we did um enjoy your life we did that in um tukari portsmouth and people were on, on the beach and they just came spontaneous mm -hmm. And that was it, you know. And then they had the, the old mass festival in Point Michel. Yeah. So we nice. took a lot of shots, a lot of samples from that yeah. because we contribute to that playing for mm -hmm. them, for yeah. the um, Lapo mm -hmm. with. So they got a lot and of And there's never shots. a dull moment in, in Point Michel. Maybe now it's a little quiet now, but before, Point Michel always had excitement. So it wasn't easy to make a video on any given day. Yeah. You didn't easy. have to wait for a weekend because any day you could have just, you know, produced a video in Point, Point Michel. Point Michel, so Mahou, those communities. Right. Mahou is another community like yes, that too. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the um, Live Nigel as well. And by the way, we al always have to remember to check our people on, on YouTube now and then. Um, they don't like it. Yes, that. we do. Yes, so, yes. But on, on, on Facebook, search ResNet. He's saying, put that respect on Serenade name. Carl T, Eric, Archie, Win, Ozzy, and many others. And we can't yes, forget yes, Rohi. Yes, of course, Dr. Dangleberg. Yes, yes. Definitely. yes. So, um, Kelsey, in terms of, I mean, first Serenade, and, 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 and I know at some point when Swing Stars moved away from Rose of Carnival Tuesday, first Serenade began occupying that space. Again, was that something for staring it saying that, you know, we're going to mm. continue contributing and, and making sure that you can enjoy your Carnival Tuesday? Well, I will tell you two things, eh? You see, Calypso, mm. and I learned that from way back when. Dominicans love Calypso. People say there might be a change now. I mean, you have other shows that years gone by, you could not do a show the same that of Calypso Finals, but now... I see it happening. No but things have changed. Eh? People in Dominica, I must say, they love Calypso. When we came to do the old mass medley, Marry the Girl Charlie, that medley there, oh, yeah. that so medley is over 20 medley. years and old, and people bottom. outside there still, still telling you that is yeah. their national oh, yes. anthem. You know, yes. Some oh, girls yes. call me oh, from yes. St. Martin and tell me, any jam, mm -hmm. any jam, they must call that song. Yes, yes. So when we did that old mass medley, that was what, about 96? We went up to New York, and that was it, you know. That from the time we put that down, you yeah. have to play that two, three times, yes, four times. Yes, yes. That old oh, mass yes. medley. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned New York, and I'm going to ask you in terms of traveling and so on, what was it like for you guys? Was all, all the excitement, all the girls running on the stage in midfield serenade? What was it like? Guys, popular. Uh, well, yeah. New York. Mm. New York was what? 96? Yeah, New York. Well, I mean, that old mass medley, New York was like fun. A lot of guys came across. There were people up there that hadn't seen Dominica for years and, you know, they were just so happy to see the band. Mm -hmm. And the band was all around. We did boat rides and we drove uh, boy, a lot of work to driving across the border to go up to Canada with guys like Joe P. There was a guy that helped us a lot in New York, Peter Winston. That was like a brother to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter mm -hmm. actually well passed. He died. But very along the way, a lot of people helped mm -hmm. to make it work. And New York was a strong focal point for the band. Did you Miami to too, Caribana? Houston, those places, yeah. What about Caribana? You ever performed Caribana? We did Caribana. Joe P. Joe P. was the man responsible for Caribana. Mm. All right, so you've done Caribana, Canada. You've done London. Did, you've done mm. New York. You've done Miami. Saint Martin. What about Saint Martin? Saint Martin? Yeah. Did you have a fan base there too? Where's that? Saint Martin. Saint Martin. 
Yeah, we have fans in. I mean, you have done St. Thomas as well, and the Virgin Islands. Yeah, we did St. Thomas, St. Croix. Actually, we played with Jamban before that. If Friday passed, we did a couple gigs with um, Jamban. But uh, but but also um, as you mentioned J Jamban, I'm thinking uh, as well of Burning Flames because Burning Flames yeah, too we Flames was too. very popular in Dominica in too. In Dominica, in Dominica, too. Dominica yes, there was, was a time they came in, in here. But that yeah. did not pose any like threat for a band that was nah. just like no. No, when we came, I mean, being on the road, we we played against Burning Flames on the road. I mean, we had experience of the road in Dominica, you know. Okay. The road in Dominica mm -hmm. was a strong road, and Burning but, Flames was there. We played together with them. In and out of Dominica. But, but which band, which local band, um, Kalti, in, you had a very close affiliation to back in the day when you, you would have started? When we started, by all bands, we worked with all bands in Dominica, from Swinging Stars. But wasn't to you, like, I, I'm trying to remember if you all were close to, like, RSB in particular. Yes, we're kind of, well, was Maxim is my first cousin, so we did things with RSB. So there was a strong relation there? Yeah, yeah. So, well, Chubby, up to this day, we're still boys. Mm. So, like Groovers. Groovers, so yeah. basically in the business we work with all, all, all those guys but your guys were always cool sometimes we would be we worked with triple k too bands and, but, but first serenade was always cool mm, yeah, you man. would speak of your music and, and that's what I liked about first serenade mm. the Roro would come out in song you know and, Roro and that was song. First actually we have a new release to come out this this month oh yeah a Roro again no, not a Roro. we're still blazing <laughs> but we're the Roro blazing. is good you know in song I mean I like that village life of course that's it that's it what about the experience on the World Korean Music Festival? How yeah, was that? Nice. Ah, well, that was another story by itself. We World Korean Music Festival, back in the day, mm -hmm. I can remember a particular year. Um, we played after Kasav. Hmm. And coming after Kasav was. So my brother oh. goes to the engineer, and the guys there with the cigarette. So my brother tell him, um, can we use your mix? He says, it's a problem, it's a problem. So trumpet into trumpet, trombone into trombone, guitar into guitar. You'd have to go and play in it, you know. Mm -hmm. The engineer took about half an hour to set up, an hour to set up his thing. When you get Kassav's mix, mm -hmm. you're good to big. go. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was, one that of, was, that was a moment. We played with Crossfire too in Dominica and in Barbados. Actually, they brought us into Barbados to do a gig for them, so... We've been there. We've we played a lot of um, artists from outside of Dominica as well. You played them um, not too long ago with Stefan Ravo, right? Well, Stefan Ravo, every time he comes, well, he calls my um, keyboard player Simon and they do their business. Stefan Ravo, yes, we've done him quite a few times, yeah. And of course, you would have what played a lot at Creole in the Park. And the last and time we did him was um, at the White, White, White Affair. White yes, yes, the White Sunset. Yes. Oh, White Sunset, yes. White Sunset, yeah. Yes, Sunset, yeah. Go ahead, Nigel. Oh, how no, I was asking you, how do you feel about the musical landscape in Dominica? How do you feel about yeah. the music in Dominica now, currently? <laughs> I know, I know, I know that was gonna come. Wait, has to. You want to talk about the lyrical content, right? Well, lyrical. I know that's where you want to go. Uh, lyrical, musical. How do you feel about music now in Dominica? Boys, well, I have mixed opinions on that. You know, I mean, sometimes it is 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 change is is a time. Mm. I can remember back in the day. People who go like, how can they make a song kick up like a raging ass? Mm -hmm. How can they make a song want to friend the mango tree? <laughs> not just that, not just that line, but they want to Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> so I cannot really say much, you know. Okay. But some of it is <laughs> over explicit. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave that at that. Yes, because I mean, even if you listen to the song "Once to Friend and the Mango Tree," she bend and she give it to me. <laughs> you it's can not, think. It's not. It's not. You as, can as, imagine. As, yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 But in terms of even the musicality, though, I mean, you know, do you think that because of all this um, programming that we have now, that we've kind of lost the musicality in terms of guys being able to actually play music, read music, and perform, you know, and not just rely on the drum machine and all the other sequencing you can do? Well, again, you see, when I taught agriculture to the children, I told them that tools make our work easier, tools make our work faster. The technology, you cannot get away from it. You have to end up using it. Mm. A drummer drumming whole night, sometimes you have to add in a few samples to help him. You have to do certain things to enhance the music. It's just time is a change i mean when even 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 war when you look at war right now they're using drones in in ukraine mm. everything True is that. technology yeah you have ai ai intelligence mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you cannot get away mm -hmm. from that eh? it is what it is it's part of the whole progress part of the whole process yeah, yeah. when my when my grandfather and them played music back then 
is a violin and a, and a saxophone playing without microphone. You know, they would go and do a dance, maybe in Sufre or Scott said, and they blow in without amplification. Mm. When you come into yeah. Rose and you have 10,000 people, you must amplify. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. That's true. Because there was a rivalry. There was a nice, healthy rivalry, WCK from Serenade. Yeah, man. And I think that kind of helped the music and it helped both of the bands. Definitely. Are we missing that today? Well, the rivalry now would be basically between, um, when I look at it, between Triple K and Signal. I wouldn't say we're missing that, you know. Because all of them doing their thing, all of them have their, their fan base. So that in itself, helping the music to grow and develop. Mm, right. I'm looking at the at the live again and let me say good morning to Hazel Shilling Ford. We go way back eh, with the music as well, back in the day as teenagers. But um, there's a question. Ask him about the song about Tony Marco. There was a controversy about that song <laughs> as WCK had a similar song. Let's go, Kalti. Well, Bad Will, I know Bad Will did this thing first. I know because that came out on um, Rough Up. Boy, that was controversy that time, you know. And Bad Will was a you, very controversial I think guy. He's been very, very diplomatic. He is, but let me tell you something. I appreciate that. Yes, if I but have there to. Was a, there was, I mean, back then, man. Yeah, Jack man. Passed, there was some. Well, there was a big conversation in the nation. That was a mm. national mm. conversation. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, maybe the best man that could maybe answer that for you is Bad Will, you know. But you're here. I show you know the story. Nah, give, know us the story the, yeah. give us the deal. You know the story. You give us the, the best man. Yeah, well, Serenade. I mean, back in the day, I mean, I can tell you when Rough Up came out. I mean, things was really bad. I mean, I met fans of WCK. To this day, we still talk about that. That um, Clint will tell me, "Ah, boy, you had like that, or you only make us run from the roots." And the music at the time, '94, Serenade just ruled Dominica. And the music was just doing it. It was just doing itself. But then mm-hmm. CK went back and they did their homework and they come out with two show two flam. Hmm. Well we had music, eh? And, and then they came back something. with the original hold them. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Ra! And Ra will tell you when they come in with the big bamboo, when they come in with the violence, we go correct them. So but you there know, was automa- controversy. There so was you controversy. know, automatically who he was talking I about. I remember the controversy <laughs> on the street, Nigel, on the streets, I mean on jump up days. <laughs> What would oh, be said on Serenade yes. truck and what would be said on CK truck? Yep. No, <laughs> My that, goodness, the rivalry was there. Have, you know, you know, just to happen is to decide is waiting to see who who starts. Yes, who starting first. Yes, you know, right. Know, but one thing about first start, Serenade, they would start after that. One thing about people. first Serenade, <laughs> the, the the Calypsos. I mean, Serenade would have that on 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 point to play the Calypsos oh, yeah. on the streets. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you have to you have to get that to them. People like Calypso, you have to play it, and I most some. Um, at this point, Fancam, the Calypso Association, because this year we came out on the road and, and they gave us a sponsorship to come out. They assisted part sponsorship. And nice. part of the deal was we had to play a few of the Calypsos for them. Because there are people out there who want to hear the mm-hmm, Calypso. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, so Calypso right. Association, so they, I approached them and they said, okay, you know one thing, we're going to come out and sponsor you guys to come out on the road. And part of the deal, we had to play a few Calypsos on the road. What about the professionalism of First Serenade? Because you guys always seem to have been, you know, well dressed on time and so on. And so was that was that a deliberate thing that you decided you were going to make sure that mm-hmm. you're professional mm-hmm. in your yeah. approach? Well, yes, you have to be. I mean, when you're just on stage in life, you cannot come on stage and you're looking wishy washy. So even to this day, I instill that in the guys that you know you have to be looking, you know, proper on stage. You know, mm-hmm. I, I mean, even I, I, I can say it publicly. Lloyd, he tells me, Calty boy, I cannot as a front man, I cannot be the same shit. So every day, he, every time we have a performance, he goes and he buys an outfit just for him to be on stage to do his. Lloyd is gifted. He has a talent yeah. that um, oh, I don't yes. think so many people I recognize it enough. Mm-hmm. But very Lloyd good vocalist. Just, he can hold uh, yes, his key. Yes. He can you know and and. and, and and I must, you know, I mean, I, I must commend him, you know, for this year's um, Enjoy Your Life. Yeah. Oh, because Lordy. people have been calling me and telling me, but you know, life too short. Yeah. Enjoy Let nobody yeah, stress That's a good you tagline. Yes. Yeah, a nice and that chance. Is, yeah. Enjoy Your Life. And that song is doing yeah. very well in London. Big eh? up to Lloydy. I know we had to have Lloydy on Nigel. Was it since last year, I think, you know? Or yes, maybe yes, yes, He was yes, traveling yes. at the time and then we just move on. He was on. traveling at the time. We yes. Him, but yes. we will we'll get him on. We'll yes. get him. But he's a guy, Nigel, you'll enjoy Lloydy. You know, Lloydy is a big farmer, you know. Oh, I mean, Lloydy will tell you that when I worked at Yeah, He's telling you about his planting, what he planting, and yeah. That, um, in a sense, I was probably one of those that made him continue in the music thing. Yeah, you were in, you were instrumental in, yeah. and I was there, mm-hmm. and we had a good mm-hmm. talk, and you know, 
um told him to hang in there and stuff like that mm-hmm. but 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 Kelsey if time winding down very quickly in mm-hmm. terms of the support of the Point Michel community what was that like for first serenade mm-hmm. and for you guys well, the Point Michel community always supports their band, you know, it's their band. You know, but though we have a set of new guys that have come in from outside, mm-hmm. actually, um, last month, we were shooting one of our latest videos, which is, as I said, is coming out this month, and we were doing it in Hollywood. And a lot of the people participated. They came in, they, they, they did their part. For the um, Old Mass Festival, quite a few people came in and mm. they took part in that. Mm-hmm. And, you know... So it's still out of the community. We did shots around Dominica, not only in Point Michel, Portsmouth, Tukari, different areas. Mm-hmm. So and all I'm that is part me. of the whole end game. Wonderful. By the way, wonderful. Terry, wonderful. Oliver wonderful. Say, by now, he said, I love your diplomacy with them answers. With them answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're playing it safe this morning. You're connecting it. You, have, you all ever thought of doing, or do you, or have you done something for failure? Or ever thought of doing something? No, but we are backed up for failure, you know. Actually, my keyboard player, Simon Etienne, myself, what we would do, we call like a series of guys, and we went and we actually did work with Ophelia. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an honor to play with a man like Andrew Belloni Bude, Freddie Nicholas, those guys. And then there was a student of mine, I mean, very good. I mean, we played music together. Jared Jean Jacques, fantastic prodigy, trumpet, trombone, saxophone. Um, I asked his dad, and he came and he played with Ophelia together with us. With our, I can also comment um, Cameron Douglas. He plays in Swinging Stars. Very good saxophone player. So, Dominica, there are a lot of tight guys. And, you know, if you call them up and to do a project, they will come. And actually, we did a project for Ophelia, backing up for the Cardinals. Um, Wadix asked us to play for her. Mm, all right. Have, have, has, 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 has Point Michel, the community, recognized First Serenade or recognized other individuals who've made contributions to Point Michel? Yeah, man, definitely. We have awards from um, the, the village council for doing music in Dominic and whatnot. <laughs> so they have All awarded right. the band, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, by the way, I'm Juliet Badwell is saying, Lap, wet people, like I said, we are organized and dramatic. We love noticing. <laughs> I like Saint that. St. Martin, St. Martin. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, there's a certain She's thing the one that told me about, about the, 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 um, the song that most play. The old mass medley. Okay, all right. Old mass medley. Good Nigel, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I was just going to say a certain thing about Lapwet people. You can see, Boy. similar to how you have a certain thing about Grand people. people and, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. there's a certain kind of vibes when you see a Point Michel person, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's next for First Serenade, Gazi? Well, what's next for us right now, as I said earlier on, we are looking out to release. So when that, because as I said, um, Enjoy Your Life is doing well out there, all in London, and so people call it. Actually, it made number 15 on the top some UK channel up there. And we're yeah. just on the 26th, we're going to be releasing Still Blazing. So the name speaks for itself. Still, Still Blazing. blazing. Yes, After sir. all you know those years, we've been doing this for a long time. Still Blazing. Yeah, you know what I would love to see, man? I would love to see a nice clash between First Serenade and WCK, the originals. Originals, yes. You yeah. want that, eh? I would love a clash. Yeah, yeah. I, I think smoke, that can work, you know. All I have to do is talk it to should, Smokey. It yeah, it yeah it I would love to see that. that Smokey, would be Walkers, really those good guys. Good I mean, I mean, and look at it. All of us really retired now. You know, yeah, and that's a history. That would be a history lesson as well, you know, yeah, for yeah, young people mm. and for young musicians. And yeah. How it used to yeah. Be. You know, because you know, a lot of times I mean, you that would be a great session to have. Yeah, you 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 find you know so there yes, are there are certain people. Idea and run it into mm-hmm. <laughs> because a lot of times you find you know there are certain people who feel that they have arrived and that's they mm. and they forget who started it back in the day. You know, mm. laid the foundation for them. So and timing good. is important when you're doing that, eh? Well, yes, you have to find that's a like around a November for Creole Festival or a yeah, carnival. Yeah, yeah, nice Oh, quiet, very quiet. When the diasporas come home. Oh well, yes, they are. Yes, yeah. yes, you have that session yeah. during November time. I think you know, um, see for call and my association. Take the idea, run with it. Yeah. Um, your construction. Maybe, the maybe the sunset would be the next sunset. Yes. Yeah, clash. yeah. Band clash good clash, yes. First serenade and, and WCK, WCK. WCK. Especially because a lot of the band members would have gone to SMA grammar school, college, and so on. So, mm. um, necessarily in that order. You could go to grammar school first and then SMA. Well, well, yes, anyway. grammar school, <laughs> SMA, and then back to SMA. So, yes. so um, alumni um, associations, if you call, here's the idea for sunset this year. Run with it. 
but, Sonia but Williams, see, Nigel, let me just say quickly. Sonia Williams is saying, great program, guys. Teachers always have some interesting stories to tell. And that's true, you know. Mm. Oh, yes. Carl, yes, you just sit do. down there and just letting it go. I, I, I really love and it. Just, yes, Diplomacy yes, yes, and no one then, but mm -hmm. man, yes, I just yes. love the vibes. I just love yes. it. You don't want to let us know the backstory between CK oh, and Sarah. There were stories, we. Story. But we enjoyed the both bands, so that's the beautiful yeah. thing about it, you know. Yeah, of course. But well, Kelsey, your journey as educator, musician, and everything else, um, you know, we appreciate that. And your contribution mm -hmm. to, you know, to the young people, to Dominica, to agricultural science. So we definitely want to, you know, tell mm -hmm. you thank you for that. Thank you, thank, thank you, God. You By the way, the band was awarded, right? Yes, um, yeah, meritorious, meritorious. All meritorious kind of yeah. award. We golden drum. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we got quite a few awards. Let me big up Joe Cam as well. He, he's, he's, you know, on the live and seeing so many things that, you know, I'll go back to and, and, and learn some things as well. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Award of excellence. He played an instrumental role. You know, yes. Joe Cam brought us to Guadeloupe. <laughs> it's you, Joe Cam. Yes, I think he said that earlier. In terms he brought of us to Guadeloupe. Yeah, Guadeloupe. we did a, we did a Guadeloupe thing for Joe Cam. Mm -hmm. But when you look so back... you've had a lot of support from different, I mean... Yeah, man, good friends, man, all along the way. outside who have supported you to bring you across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Kati, when you look yeah. back, when you look back from when you started um, with your serenade in particular, you could go back, of course, to when you had your trumpet at SMA. But when you look back to what the band has done in terms of contributing to the music landscape, I mean, what comes, what you know, is foremost on your mind? What really brings you that, you know, satisfaction? Well, it's an honor to do that, you know. And I will say along the way, we've lost a few men. We lost Archie, we lost Damien. But the contribution of Serenade to Dominica's music is something that, you know, you, that is great, you know, and I'm, I feel proud that Serenade significantly contributed to Dominica's music. And that is a nice feeling. Yeah. Yes, yes. That people out and there, you know, I mean, I can remember Ron Lander would tell me, boy, I was studying in Barbados and and I'm here in Zuke Zuke, you know, quite black, I dance, bet, man. You know, and, and the music goes on and on and on, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But 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 finally, um, and, and Kelsey, because I know we're kind of running out. Finally, in terms of the benefits of the music of First Serenade, have you guys? Do you get royalties? Are you registered? Mm -hmm. Is it copywriting? That's quite part uh, yeah. of the music business. Well, yeah, uh, uh, quite a bit of a bit of our music is on like out oh, there. So, I have a guy taking care of that first, and things have been working out, and people have been calling to use some of the music in some of their productions and whatnot. So, definitely, yes, the music is doing what it has to do for us. Wow, well, Kati, I mean, the time has come and gone. There will come a time again, God willing, obviously, when we'll have you on again. Yeah, Because you have to continue the pleasure this, is mine. This, this mission. But I really appreciate you just telling us, yes, you can do this and, and, and coming in to, to do this. You, you are so humble, Kati. You have done so much. Mm. So much you have done for this country. Mm. And I really hope that people continue to recognize the band's contribution, your contribution as well. I mean, mm -hmm. an educator, once an educator, always an educator. Mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. that. And um, I, I, I really commend you for what you continue to do uh, in terms of national development. So kudos to you. Definitely yeah. so. Definitely so. Take your bow. And, and, and thanks for connecting with us this morning. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure, it. Nigel. It's a pleasure. And yes, definitely. Let's keep the connection going as always. Yeah. All right. So, Nigel, what we will do, we'll do it again. Um... Next week, God willing, we should have of an course. interesting guest as well. A young lady, yes. you know, very yes, interesting story she has to tell. Yes, yeah, so we look forward to that. Um, but it was a pleasure being with you on uh, Connected the Dots. Carl T.